Okay, today I'm going to be crushing flowers that I've dipped in liquid nitrogen. Okay, so I got some liquid nitrogen here and eventually I'm going to put it in my vacuum chamber, but for now I thought I'd use it to freeze some stuff and crush it in my hydraulic press. So if you don't know already, liquid nitrogen boils at around negative 196 Celsius. So since it boils at that temperature, that means the liquid continually stays at negative 196 Celsius. It doesn't warm up, it just boils. So it's used to store things at cryogenic temperatures because it stays at that constant temperature. So it's usually stored in containers like this doer here. So for liquid nitrogen, you never have a lid on it that closes all the way. See how this is just sitting on top here? That's because um, it's a gas at room temperature, so it would get to really high pressures and explode your canister. So liquid nitrogen is so cold, you can actually condense the air inside of a balloon. So the air inside here is cooling, and so it just gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And it actually begins to condense. Watch it puff back up. So you can hear the liquid in there a little bit. <laughs> Okay, so I've got this filled with liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen flour crushed by hydraulic press. Three, two, one. Okay, so here's the petals of the flower. Okay, so putting it in the hydraulic press, the flower cools off too quickly. Uh, since it has a lot of surface area, it really cools off quickly when you put it in the press. So instead of doing that, I'm gonna quickly pull it out of the liquid nitrogen and break it. Okay, smashing a liquid nitrogen flower. Three, two, one. Whoa. Hey, thanks for watching again. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for my next video. I'll be putting that liquid nitrogen into my vacuum chamber. And if you have any suggestions for me, put it in the comments section and I'll read through it and see what I can do. And I'll see you next time.